hello friends welcome again and this is my new project online pizza ordering system and uh, i have developed this project in java spring boot angular and mysql so the angular version i'm using angular version 12 uh, jdk version is 1.8 tomcat version is 9 and mysql version is 5.6 for id i'm using sts spring boot tool suits for developing the spring boot application uh, visual studio code for developing the angular application and php my admin for mysql management for port i am using port 4200 for angular and port 8080 for the spring boot application it's a headless architecture where we have developed all of the apis microservices in spring boot and all of the front end logic all of the front end presentation layer we have developed in angular all of the business logic we have implemented in a spring boot right so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project online pizza ordering system so let's start with the functionality go through that what are the features available inside this project what are the functionalities it can perform right so once you run this project you will get this home page uh, so for running this project you need to write localhost colon 4200 right and uh, after that it will show this page right so you can see this is the page right and this is the home page you can see all of the informations are coming so the above banner is static the in these informations are static but these categories are coming from the database you can see veg pizza non-veg pizza pan pizza right once you click on that, you will get the pizza list which belongs to that category, right? Okay, so this is the about page and this is the static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. This is all categories, right? You can see veg pizza, non veg pizza, right? So if you click on any of the pizza, you will get the list of all those pizza which belongs to that category. Even you can search the pizza from here like I want chicken pizza. Just write down chicken, CHIC here, right? it will show all of the pizza which belongs to the chicken category right so there are two pizzas available here you can see the details here right you can add the cart you can even you can post the comments on that pizza you can post your use on that pizza right all products miss all pizza right so this again i already explained you this page this is a search right if you click on the details you will be able to post the post the reviews you can see these are the reviews posted by different customers right and for posting the reviews you need to log in inside the system first so these are the reviews right these are the details of the pizza once you add the item into the cart there is a restrictions that you can't add item into the cart without the login right so you can log in for ordering any of the pizza so this is a login this is a customer login from here customer can log in this is admin login from your admin can log in this is a registration if you don't have user id and password then you can register from here and after that you can create your own user id and password and you can log in with that right this is a contact us this this is a dynamic form you will fill the form and the, all of the information of this form will be saved inside the database and after that admin can see all of the contact us information this is a website feedback and you will fill all of this information and this all information will be displayed to the admin now i am going to log in as a customer so user id is amit at gmail.com password is test so you can see this is the dashboard here right here you can see home i already explained you this is a home this is a dashboard right this is about i already explained you this is all categories this is all categories this is all products this is all products this is a my cart you don't have any item to cart right again this is a my orders all of the orders which you have ordered earlier will be displayed here if you click on any of the order will be displayed so there is nothing i think there are some missing so i am going on the my order section again and just click on that you will be able to see all of the orders right so you can see there is one item into the order you can print the receipt right this is a my account from where you can update your account details right you these are all of the informations filled by you and it's pulled from database right now i am going to order some of the pizza add into the card so that one i have one item into the card if you click on the my card so you can see there are one items into the card 
I am going to add this one also. So there are two items in the upper cart. And now I'm going to add this one also. Details add into the cart. So there are three items into the cart, right? So total amount I need to pay is 2,600 rupees. If you want to remove any item, just click on delete and that item will be deleted and the price will be registered, right? Once you click on the checkout, you can see you need to pay 1,800 rupees. You need to enter the card number here. You can enter the, any card number, name on the card, right card type. This is a dummy payment gateway. There is nothing dynamic on it. We are not making any type of real transaction. We are not sending these informations anywhere external. No need of entering any of the credit card details. You can enter whatever you need. You need you can enter any type of garbage things here, right? We are not making any type of real time transactions here, right? Once you click on the make payment, you can see there are you have ordered two items, 1,800 total amount you have paid is 1,800 rupees. You can print this page also with your connected printer, right? Now I am going to see my card, so my card will be blank. And in my order sections, this is the last order, I think. Once you click on this, you will be able to see both of the pizza in your cart. Once you click on the logout, this is a session admin menu. The above admin menu will not be displayed because it's trending according to the session. You can see it's not displaying. Now I'm going to log in as an admin. So one more thing I want to explain you, there are three types of user interface available inside this. One is for customer, second one is for admin login, third one is the admin uh, operations, three types of interface. This is a good one, good project, which, from which you can learn a lot, right? So admin login, you can see this is the second login, right? Once you click on the admin and test, right? Password is admin test, you will get this dashboard, right? So you can see this is the third interface, right? Once you click on the product management, you will be able to see all of the pizzas, which is available here inside the database. You can add a new product item here. You can see this is a product item page. This is a category management. All of the categories will be displayed here. Add a new category from here. You can add the new category. All orders placed by different customer will be displayed here. If you want to see any orders, just click on this and you will be able to see all of the orders, right? You can see this is order details. This is on customers. All of the customers who has registered inside the database will be displayed here. If you want to add a new customer, just click on add new customer and it will be displayed here. You, you can add a new customer from here. This is a contact us report. I already explained you that there is a contact us form on the front page. Any customer who filled that form will be displayed here. The contact us information will be displayed here. Same for the feedback report, right? And the logout. Once you click on the logout, the whole session will be expired and you will be redacted to the login page, right? So these all functionalities and features available inside this online pizza ordering store, right? So as I told you earlier, this is a Java, Spring Boot, Angular, and MySQL web-based project. And if you need any enhancement, any functionality in this project, we can develop it. And this is a major project which has customer and admin panel, right? With three level, three types of user interfaces, right? So thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.